I speak Pamiri language, Shoghnoni, Shoghni from Tajikistan. Uh, it's me, Hashma. I'm talking from Pakistan and I speak Pashto language. My name is Kamran Ali. Uh, I'm from Pakistan, administered Gilgit Baltistan of Kashmir. Uh, I'm a Wahi Pamiri. Excellent. Thank you. So, Azar, are you going to start? Okay, the first word would be a uh, ter team. I mean, it's two words, but it has uh, one meaning ter team. Ter team. Single. Is it like ter sim? Is it like ter sim? Yeah, just uh, it uh, sounds like that. Um, is it like uh, a verb? Is it like doing something? Yeah. It's uh, two words, but they connected. It's ter is one it thing and team. Same. Or if I say plural, same mean. Ter, same mean. Plural and singular would be ter, same. Ter, same means black eye. Ter is black and same is eye. Same uh, mean is eyes. Uh, what do you say for the what, eye? For, for our, you know, in Wahi, we say term for eyes, a person's eyes. It's like far, but interesting the the sound te we have it in Pamiri and Pashto, but we don't have it in Persian. It's like the central, but it's like T S central. Mm -hmm. We pronounce it central, not central. Yeah, and yeah. we we pronounce it a bit too hard. Like we said, cherim, cherim. What about black? What is black in your languages oh, yeah. in Pashto and uh, Wahi? Wahi, in Wahi we say shoe for black shoe. Okay. In Pashto, we say tur. Tur, like tour. we say ter. Yeah. And we say um, stargi for eyes. Stargi. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. In Persian, they say for black siyo, but also tiramo means uh, fall, which means the common, the root is tira. Mo. So, yeah, like. Sia is black, but tire, or, or pronounced differently depending on the dialect, is uh, just uh, dark, right? So yeah, you can tajik. do the short. I so pronounce like, it with a Tajik accent. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, I will make it short. Uh, us to win them. Oh, oh, it's easy. In Wahi, we have yeah. the us to win. I, I, I see you, or I will see you. I see you. Us, I, to you, win them. It's uh, almost see common. Yes, it's mm -hmm. almost common. You, in Wahi, we say, so it's Oh, yeah. The same. What do you say in Pashto? I see you. Zeta Lidaliam. Lidaliam. Yeah. The last part. The last yeah, part is like it's in respect. Mata Lidalidi. Uh, as you go in just flow, you say, Zeta Lidaliam. Like a. Okay, I'm going to read mm -hmm. my sentence slowly. I'm starting. Ara mast khir roh navod. Ara mast ara mast khir roh navod. Roh means uh, face, right? Mm, close but not. It's Ruch somehow. Means face. No, but it's no, kind of. Ara ara means uh, I I guess ara means there. Ara or there inside somewhere, yeah? No, no, no. But if I say it, you might guess it. Ara mes chi roh navod. Na is some negation. It's, it's uh, there is not something there. Navod. navod. So if I can, I can go one by one. I guess. I mean, if well, you don't no, know no, it, I can't. Right. You're right about something not being there, right? But yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. You can just break it down and and see what what they can get. yeah ara ara means i pick this word because this is common in eastern ironic but not in persian ara means three three three, three. three. number three uh three. in persian is three. say three. which is different so ara okay. means three mast is a month three months ara mast here is a sun Ruh is a mm -hmm. shine or light, shining or light. Mm -hmm. Navud, so basically three months, there was no sunshine. Aramest, oh. three months. Aramest, uh, sunshine, Navud wasn't there. 
Okay, so uh, we, we don't say ara in Wahi, we say trui for three. Trui, three. What do you say in Pashto for number three? Dre. Dre. Dre, ara. Tru, dre, ara. And yeah. say. It's totally Dre. different. Yeah. Yeah. And for month, uh, for month, we, we don't say mess. Uh, we say mui. mui. We say miash. And all of them start with M. Oh, even yeah. in yeah. Persian. Yeah. Even in Persian and Russian and English. Yeah, that's also the Indo European. Um, uh, they have the same roots. So that's why. By the way, in old Persian, the, uh, in Persian, Khurshed has a roots Khur from start from Khur. In Wahi language, uh, there are there are certain words which are pronounced very, very uh, you know very unusually. That's why uh, in Russia they say that uh, a person who speaks uh, Wahi or Pashto they can learn Russian very good because uh, the sounds are similar to like uh, the sounds are also in Russian language. So there are some unusual sounds. Uh, that's because of the you know Saka influence on Wahi language. So mm, yeah, there is there. Sakas are Eastern Iranic uh, nomad tribes that went yeah. from Central Asia to North Pakistan. Some of them to Caucasus, whereas Alans, Ossetians, these are like tribes. So yeah, basically Saka was one of the tribes, Eastern tribes of the Scythians. So uh, the Western types of Scythians, they were called the Alans, uh, which, which of course speaks the Ossetian language now. And the Eastern yeah. tribes, uh, they used to speak the Saka language, so that Saka language was then, uh, uh, you know, it uh, uh, got uh, extinted and then Pashto and Wahi languages were born from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. got preserved in the mountains, which we have today, Pashto, Pamiri, we all live in the mountains. Yeah, basically yeah. there were like uh, waves of invasions, uh, like the Arab invasion uh, and after that the Turkic invasions. So after, uh, mm -hmm. during those invasions, the, you know, the original East Iranian people in the plain areas, they were got uh, absorbed into those uh, populations, the new yeah, population. Yeah, uh, back, back trends. So... Yeah, and the people who uh, got refuged on the mountain, they, they managed to, you know, preserve, somehow preserve their uh, language and uh, identity and other things. So. Okay. The Hashmayama or the Matidi ma khabar khabar pashtunkha ki da agriculture university na ma sabak kuele de o ma chidi pashtu me alta is the kare de o alta na ma masters kare de o zama chidi alta dear khamar ghar pati shave de o pashtu wal khalak chidi agar dear ziat mina na khalak de o agar da khal ko dear khayal sati. If you would have said that in my language, I wouldn't guess it because <laughs> it was yeah. too long. <laughs> yeah, I, I understood mo most of it, so okay. I, I will ask you, but, to, you uh, to guess. So I need to uh, shortly tell them one by one or what? Yeah, just uh, read, the, read the first one. Read, read the first part. Okay. The Hashmayama. Oma Heber Pachtonha Agriculture University in a Sabakway lady. Okay, I, I, I got it fully. And you, okay, I will ask you to you to guess. Okay, I know Z is I because we say Uz mm -hmm. or Az for we the also say I. Uz in what mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, we have like Shuhni and Rushani, they both very close. Rushani says Az, Shuhni says Uz. So, what do we say? I. Uz was w u z right mm -hmm. so i guess you said yeah. something i study for something agriculture something something right mm -hmm. i am a student okay. studying yeah. for agriculture uh, so in my opinion uh, she first said that i am ashma she uh, she said i am asha she introduced herself and after said uh, after that she said that i studied from uh, peshawar university or something university or somewhere so that is what i got yeah, yeah, because I uh, yeah I used some English um, words in between, so it was easy for you people to guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Zada pi khawar na naya ma khuma al taki pashto is the karedi. I understood two words. I mean, if you pronounce them slowly, I might guess it, but I understood I and pashto. 
Uh, can, can you repeat it again? Slowly. Zed the pihawar na nayama. Zed the pihawar na nayama. Homa al takit pochto is the karedi. Uh, I would guess it like this. Uh, I in in Peshawar we speak Pashto. Uh, uh, za, za we right. Uh, yama I. it's form and I za yeah okay. I uh, okay I I live in Peshawar and I speak Pashto. Maybe. I said that I'm not from Peshawar, basically, but I have learned Pashto. Ah, Nayama, Nayama. Ah, ah, okay, ah. okay. It's I am. To say I am, we say Yama, Yam, Uzam, like I am. Ah. We say Nayama. Yam for that. Yam, Yam, ah, yam. Could this dog. Yeah, we also say Yam. We say Yam. That, 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 uh, that is Yam. But what yam. do you say for the dog? We say yam kud means that dog or this dog. We, in Wahi, we would say yam shach. For dog, we say shach, yam shach. What do you say Pashto in dog? In Pashto, is spay. Spay. It's like uh, sag in Persian. Oh. Do you say yam, yam spay? How, how, do you, how do you say yam? Da this, this dog. Da, da spay. Da spay. Patan Halak Bera Minanakti. Patan is Pashto. Halak means Halk. We say people. Pew Pew. We say Halk. Patan, uh, what was the rest slowly? Patan, what? Patan Halak Ber Minanak, Ber Minanakti. Minanakti. I got D the first three of them. D is a, like a verb doing something or there means like... there means to uh, I think in Pashto it means there we say for there we say like a lot uh, we say tri or rafch and we also say there yeah so, uh, there. Patan, uh, Pashtun uh, people weary uh, and I couldn't get the rest of it. brave maybe brave yeah brave Memanak, or maybe ah Memanawas. Um, uh, uh, oh hospitable. guess hospital ah, Memanak. Us. Hospitality. Yeah, we say Is it, is it it's loving. Minanak means loving people. Ah, oh, Minanak. completely different. <laughs> okay, uh, loving people. Uh, je veux dire that Petra, the church minister of Savs, was actually very strong. I understood Yeah. Uh, je veux dire. Petra Shermishtav Savs was a very strong shrewd. I understand, as he said, that for eyes they say treasure. Beautiful green eyes. Uh, yes, somehow, and a vague at Petra. It's about like vague. Uh, it, you, can, you can guess it, I suppose. Vague at De Petra. Better, 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 better. They at better. There are two. There are two relations. Good, good relationship, better relationship. Uh, it's about the quality of your relatives, like. Um, their quality. I'm talking about their eyes. You you guessed the second part, right? Uh, yeah. Beautiful green Groom. eyes. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so should I should I say it, Bado? Yeah, we couldn't guess. Uh, Ju means mine. Uh, oh. Mine. Veg uh, means it's from Dutch, from daughter. Uh, in Wakhi, for daughter, we say veg. At daughter. Like veg. At it at means like end. Uh, Petr, Petr means son. Uh, so I, I basically said uh, my son, my daughter and son are very beautiful and uh, they, they have green eyes. Mm. Interesting. Uh, we say and at, like we, we say me and you was at to. 
So basically, uh, a doctor has been uh, corrupt, uh, like uh, they has been corrupted as doctor or a daughter. Yeah, it's like Indo yeah. Indo uh, Indo. Uh, uh, yeah, it's Indo European. It's used in a uh, like German, Dutch. They they use it in those languages as well. They they pronounce the ch as well. Yeah. Interesting. So we say. Pisar, yeah, yeah. Uh, as you say, pisar in Persian, so we say petr. And in uh, there's, it's in, very interesting because in Punjabi language, language they say putr or son. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The putr, uh, I would like to talk about. We say put in uh, Sanskrit, they say putra, like Rajput means right. king of son of king. Mm -hmm. But in Persian, it used to be putra too, because we have Persian yeah, last that's... names like. Uh, Olimpur, Zainalpur, that means poor means belong son of. Wuzum skahuyash nyenneka trabogum regda. Trabogum secret savs gulsirishtu. I in the garden, green grass, something. Uh, okay, let me repeat the sentence. Wuzum, that you guessed it right. Skahu. Ah, yeah. Skahuyash, uh, Trabogum Reda, a Trabog of Secret Savs Gulsuri Ishtu. Gul flower. Gulsuri, yes. Like a rose. Yeah. Secret Savs. Did you get the Secret Savs part? You should get it, it's easier. What's the word? Subs is like uh, green in Urdu. And sec. 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 Secker. It's I also don't know. color. It's also color. So it's related to rose, so it may be red. Okay, let me rose. Wasam skahuyash nienek trabogum reida. Trabogum. Secret Savs Gulsirishtu. Did you go? Did you get the? Uh, did you get the ball part? What is ball? Ball garden. Yeah, garden. Garden. Yeah. So okay, I basically said that I I rode my horse. Uh, yash means horse in Wahi. So I yash. I rode my horse and went to the garden, and there were uh, in the garden there were red and green roses. Mm. Like... Horse in our language, Vorge. Vorge, yeah. Mm. Interesting because, uh, see, uh, one of my Russian uh, friends uh, who is a linguist, uh, he told me that in the old times, uh, Russian language also used to have the M ending, which is common in Iranian languages, like uh, I do something, yum, right? So we numb, for example, I see. Even in Persian, maybe num, maybe numb. By the Kardam. way, uh, Bahodur, I have a question. What's the uh, correct way? Maybe nam or maybe num? The O is the sound that is used in Tajik, right? Like, uh, yeah. So when you want to say, I see something, we say maybe nam. Or, but, for example, raftam or raftum. Which one is in, correct? In the Iranian way, we say raftam. But uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I know a lot uh -huh. of the, the ah sounds become O when you're like further towards the east like in uh so in yeah like the persian speakers in tajikistan and uzbekistan will will use the o sound instead yeah same that with like very interesting like we said nom right nom in it becomes gnome right or yeah we say gnome or spring like what uh like bahar becomes bahor right Bahor, yeah, H O R, Bahor. Yeah, so the it becomes an O, whereas in in the Iran Spring. it would be Bahor, with more of like yeah. Awesome. I think we should do then whenever Tajik Persian because it's close, but it's like American English and British English. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, we can understand each other, but sometimes you know the accent is different, right? So some words are and, pronounced differently. And, an interesting thing in uh, Shughni Pamiri language, we have the word his which means for the something wet, but in Tajik, they don't use it. They use really? it, uh, tar or nam, uh -huh. but we use his. They don't use his. Oh. So we, in like we use his and tar, both of them are used, but yeah, I didn't know that they don't use, they don't use his. Yeah, they don't know. 
wet, right? No, hash. Nam, no. Hash. hash, yes, for wet, we hash. Say hash. Hashed and hist almost close. I mean, what do you yes. say in Pashto for the wet? Lund. 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 So another in, one more interesting word I think is tooth. How do you say tooth in uh, in Shukni? Vindun. Yes, because that that is that sounds very close to the Persian dandun or dandun, which is like colloquial in in yeah. like Tehrani way. But how do you say it in Pashto and Wahi? For one, you say rah, and for that, um, many you say rahuna. Like teeth means rahuna. Hmm. And in Wahi, we say dunduk. Close. Oh, close. yeah, that's what I meant. Dandon is correct or dandun? So dandon is correct, but we say dandun when we're speaking colloquially. In a written form, it would be dandon. Hmm. Come I on. had an Iranian friend when I talked to her Persian. She said, "You sound like somebody reading a book." <laughs> like yes, from the that's that's exactly what it sounds like. That's why when people from Tajikistan or from like Bukhara, you know, uh, when they speak to us, it sounds like poetry. You know, one of my uh, uncles uh, he went to Iran uh, last uh, two years ago, and uh, mm -hmm. he's kind of an anthropologist. So when he, when he came back, he said that uh, there are, uh, in our language, Wahi, there are many words in uh, Wahi which are archaic, like uh, they have been lost in Persian or other Iranian language, but they've been preserved in our language. So he was giving an yeah. example of uh, pish. Uh, in Wahi, we say pish for cat. So he, he was pishak. telling me that, uh, pishak, yes. And he told me that in the in Iran, in the cities, they say gurbe, gurbe yes, yes other. But yes. in the in the villages, uh, which have more like a kind of typical uh, Persian or old Persian, they, they still say pish in, in they, the villages. They do. And it's interesting because it's used in some other uh, Iranic languages. In Persian, we say gorbe uh, for a cat. Yeah. But when you're speaking to like a little kid, you say pishi. Like, yes. like if, I'm, if I'm speaking to my daughter, I, I would refer to the cat as pishi. Like, you know how you have like terms for for animals that are used for kids or something like that, but the word is still there. Like if you say pishi or pish or pishak, people would know what you're referring in, to. It's just like Pashto, uh, it's pisho. Yes. Pisho. Yeah. How do you say thank you in like original? Like I know it's tashakur, but it's uh, inspired by Arabic. But the real yeah. word uh, in our language in Wahi, we still say shobosh. And okay. I suppose okay. in Persian it is sepas. Sepas. We push to manana. Say manana. 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 Close to mamnoon. In Persian, yeah. mamnoon they use. Yeah. But I think it's Arabic, no? Mamnoon is Arabic, so is Tashakor, Mutshakaram. Those are Arabic. I say kolokh, but it's Turkish. It's from Turkey. It's not our word. Yeah. But sepas is uh, should be the right way because in Russian they say spasiba. Spasiba, yeah. Sepas. So, you know, also in the Iranian way of speaking Persian, we say merci as well, which is French. But the sepas is basically the, the Persian way. And when we say sepas or sepas gozaram, it's more of a formal way of speaking. Formal way. You know? Yeah. Uh, like normally if someone, if like my friend does something for me, you know, I don't say sepas or sepas gozaram. That, that is, that's more like a formal way of thanking somebody. Yeah, I learned yeah. it from one of the speeches of Hamayun Shajran. You know, Hamayun Shajran, I'm a big fan of him. And I was oh, a big fan nice. of his father. So very whenever nice. he, he makes a speech, I almost listen to his every speech. So he, he speaks a very formal and very typical Persian. So exactly. I learned all these words from him. The interesting, the national anthem of the Pakistan is in Farsi. Yes. Yeah, we actually did a video on that. We, we like, Iranian so, people read the uh, national anthem of this Pakistan. This is something special. We've it. never done anything like yeah, this. Like... We have the national anthem of Pakistan here, which I, I didn't know about this before, but somebody told me that it is written all in Persian. So we, the Iranian side, are going to read it line by line. The word Sarzamin is pure Persian, which Sarzamin means motherland. Yeah, Sarzamin is like uh, and uh, it's maybe it may be a country, it may be any Sarzamin. Yes. Like, and by the way, I'm I'm going to start my master program in linguistics uh, in uh, August, July this year, and my okay. uh, research interest would be um, uh, this uh, in, in 
uh, compatibility or a study between Iranic languages. So that, that would be the focus of my study. And uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm working with uh, uh, an NGO with New York. It's in New York. It's by the name of uh, Vicky Tanks. I'm working with them. Uh, there's a project of two years, so where I'm going to develop uh, an, uh, an archive for the Wahi languages and perhaps mm -hmm. other Iranic languages. So Very nice. It's going Very to be interesting. I want to thank everybody. This was really wonderful. And uh, sure. I hope you guys have a, a great day and a great night. Thank okay. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye.